Today we're looking at the craziest, the goofiest, the downright weirdest items in the Team Fortress 2 workshop. So why not just get started? First item is the hand cannon, which is a secondary replacement for Pyro and Scout. I'm not sure why Scout actually gets a secondary flare gun, but he does. It would probably be single shot. No, no, no. It's actually okay. It's a scatter gun replacement. Never mind. That's extra weird. Oh wait, is it a primary replacement for both? No way, right? I don't know. Also, that would be on Valve to choose. Should they even put it into the game? I just wanted to show it off real quick because I think it looks cool. Next item. The next one, the head cheese. A crown for anyone who loves cheese. Like me, I like I like cheese, if you didn't know. <laughs> cheese being another word for buddy. Become a channel member today, please. Give me cheese. You can paint the cheese. Pink, you can have green or pink cheese. Head uh, hats on your head. Look at it. I think it really looks cool, especially on like the heavy and uh, on the soldier. I think it looks cool. It's a cool item. Very simple. A little reminiscent of the potassium bonnet situation. Just a bit, maybe, but you know, whatever. We got many crazy ass by now. It doesn't really matter. Next up, the hit and run. I've already showed you this in the intro. This one's just very, very weird. Uh, I don't really know <laughs> what to say or think or do. Really, uh, if you want to vote for this item, there's a link in the description under this video for every single one of these items that we're looking at. So feel free to vote. <laughs> just look at that. Look at it, man. Look at the weird eye one. Oh, God. I don't know. Let's just move on. The bizarre bestseller. It's an unusual effect. And just wow. Look at this. Look at this beautiful render. Obviously, the best version would be the actual roses one, I believe, at least. Maybe the golden one's cool as well. I don't know which one is best. I just like the normal roses best. Me personally. There's a lot of really cool unusual effects in the workshop by now, man. Next item is the confiscated war paint case, which is maybe next war paint case, you know? So in the next Team Fortress 2 update, we could have this as the new case. It doesn't really mean anything. That's just how it would look. Because Valve, a lot of the time, takes the model for the case from the workshop as well. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into the future. Maybe, I don't know if they'll actually use this for like an Easter or summer update sort of thing. Next, we have the back... Phil Backslap, <laughs> right. Maybe just a hot hand reskin could also be a unique weapon. I'm not sure. Both would be fine with me as a hot hand reskin. I'll be honest, it wouldn't be that crazy because it doesn't actually look much better than the original hot hand. So there's not much reason to use it. But you know, cool little glove reskin thingy. Whatever, I like the picture. That's the main reason this is here. Look at cool picture. Look at Pyro. Next, <laughs> the after party. Make your mercenary into a pizza... Headed. I don't know what I'm saying. Just, just, just looks funny. Look, look, look at funny scout. There's not much explaining needed here. Just wanted to show it really. I love how simple these concepts sometimes are to make a great and funny cosmetic in Team Fortress 2, you know? Like, you don't need anything too crazy. It just needs to be funny. Like this next one, the Monopolizer Blood Money. Look, he's rich just like me. <laughs> uh, anyway. This sadly does not come with the cool money bag, which is really the main attraction here. It only comes with the monocle. I think that's called a monocle. I don't know. The top hat and the funny mustache. Also, the thing attached to the monocle uh, wiggles. Got jiggly bones physics. The monocle and the hat are paintable also. Look at this. Funny paintable hat. Yeah, I think that's that. Let's move on to the propane accessoires, which are two gas... Passer looking canisters attached to Pyro's jacket in the same spot where I think usually he has two grenades. I don't know what he actually has there. And for some reason, whoever made this cosmetic decided it would be cool to make it into a cook thing or chef thing, which I don't really get the chef theme, but it's just a simple baseline cosmetic that could be like a low tier one in the newest cosmetic case, you know. Just like this next one, the biotic backup. Not every cosmetic has to be crazy, you know. This one is just a simple cosmetic, could would probably be a low tier one in a new cosmetic case but you need the low tier ones so the high tier ones are actually cool you know if everyone's super no one is and it is paintable which I don't know, that seems a bit useless for this cosmetic but what do i know it's cool moving on to the geneva proto kill which is a medic gun or maybe needle gun replacement not sure what this is it could actually be like a medic gun that heals slower but with mouse two you like shoot or Something like that. It looks like a weird mixture of healing and damage. Not certain. It would be on Valve to decide that anyway, so who cares? It looks kind of nice. I'm not too sure about those renders. I'm not crazy about these, but I'm sure whoever made this tried his best. Next up, the Bahukim Blaster. <laughs> I wanted to say master for some reason. This actually just looks like a stock grenade launcher, but look at funny stretched face demo. I just wanted to show you this because I found 
this attached to this weird stock grenade launcher looking thing. Yeah, that's actually, that's pretty much all. Next, the dud, a bomb shell that hasn't detonated as a soldier hat. I always want to say head hat. I don't know why I'm like this. My brain just stops working sometimes. As usual, paintable, just a normal cosmetic, nothing crazy. Let's move on to the sizzling sausage unusual effect. This is a circling unusual effect in the form of a sausage. Now, I'm usually not a big fan of this hot dog hat, especially as an unusual Usual. It's like one of the worst unusuals you can get, but if there's a circling sausage around your hot dog hat Oh my god, that's god tier Especially if you use it on a fat engineer on a level 3 chin engineer on a rancher relaxer man That's god tier, but even if not Funny, funny sausage, you know, it's cool. Next up, we got the fire hazard, which is a backpack cosmetic for the pyro that replaces his gas canisters. I actually thought that this was gonna be a melee weapon and not a backpack replacement, so I, whoops, I actually wanted to show you like a cool weapon concept here, but I, I guess it works, you know? Looks kind of okay. Anyway, moving on, we got the Tower of Power, which is, there it is, a very goofy map, nothing that could be outside of the community server realm in Team Fortress 2, which is totally fine, but I just want to show it, because it's this safe for YouTube, I just saw a naked heavy, I think. Pause the video and go back. <laughs> Maybe you could see some good looking heavy picture. No, you can't, I, I made sure of it. Uh, this would be a map that I would play with you guys if that's something you want. So comment Tower of Power in the comments if you want to play this weird looking map. I would upload it on my second channel, Cereamon 2. By the way, check out that channel. I've got a few funny videos on there. There's also this map, Sea Plant Salt Spring, which is one of the Splatoon maps into a made into a Team Fortress two maps so I could maybe clickbait Splatoon. I don't know if anyone would actually click a Team Fortress 2 but it's Splatoon video but I'd still make it and if you guys want to join that as well just join the discord server tell me in the comments that you want to see this map and I'll upload a video where we play this together on Cereamon 2. Basically subscribe to the second channel please. It <laughs> doesn't have a lot of subs yet. We did already play two fort with two bridges and drumfoot. That was last week so better be quick these events won't last forever let's move on to the last cosmetic of today the biggest in texas now this my friends is what i call a hat it is ginormous man it will probably protect you against any good sniper simply because you wouldn't even know where the head is in this big hat but uh bots will probably still snipe you so it's actually probably fine to add this into tf2 don't you think so well come on gabe and i'll, I'll pay you I, I don't know yeah i think that's it for today please check out all my other channels become a channel member today it's a life-changing experience and it's only two dollars a month life changing i'm telling you and i'll see you my fantastic friends in the next video bye Bye.